Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa. We're about to find out who was killed. Do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now the difference between passive and active i mean for example it's the difference between like oops i killed him and yeah that's right i killed him amazing there are tons of people who don't understand the difference can you believe it i don't know man but there's a huge difference between oops and that's right you know what i'm saying right yeah i do Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculator intent, that's true. So, take that choice, then put it into action. It's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying well, to make? I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. You're telling me to murder someone, I don't want to. Bad, get out of my house. <laughs> what are you? Oh my god, he's a creep. <laughs> because it's <laughs> because you're creepy. Someone was killed. <laughs> Get out of my way, man. I need to go and check on my girl. <sighs> You're alive. Uh, um. girl for you maybe mm -hmm. okay. yeah it's pretty dangerous and stupid what the heck naturally Yeah, I know what you mean. Yo! For serious? Tinder. 
Oh my god. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. It's all clear now. I see. I was thinking the same thing. That's a pity, but at the very least, it's not my girl. Like, I knew she was a pretty weak target, so that tells me that somebody. So it, it can't be the Kuwabara guy who went after her because he likes her. Not only that, he also promised to protect her. Can't be Taka. Because he also thinks whoever hits girls is scum. From the guys, it can only be Byaku. But he's obviously a red herring. Like I was the red herring in the previous chapter. Bloodlust. Bloodlust is the serial killer. The psychic dude. So that's about the serial killer who writes about bloodlust at all of his victims' places. Hmm. She was strangled. What the heck? Okay, bear. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Okay. What? Yeah. Okay, I'm fairly sure that all those three are clear. Okay, let's see people's reactions. Damn. 
Yeah, figured you were. No, I don't think she's responsible. I don't think he's responsible. I don't know. I think you are going to be a killer eventually, but I don't know if this is your murder. I don't think you're responsible. I don't think you are responsible either. So We talked about this. We talked about the killer. Come on, gal. Use your brain if you have it. Yes it is. Thank you. Somebody has brains. Clearly an imitation. What is this? Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Hmm. Clearly to make it feel like it's the... Uh, that would be one hell of a coincidence if Jack was here and he didn't already try to kill somebody when he basically has a guarantee way out and a way to basically kill every other victim, every other witness by getting away with murder, which he should know. Like, that's the reason why I never actually suspected that the real one could be here because it feels like he would have been the first one to kill somebody. Yes, where is Toko? And just as I said those words, I realized the only one who would be able to get into the girl's locker room would be a girl or someone who got the key from a girl. And Toko was either prime candidate for getting killed or being the killer. So she could have fainted for two reasons. Probably she gave uh, it's such a um, such a conspiracy theory, but she likes Byakuya. If he would have asked for her card, she probably would have given the card to him. Which means that she might be dead here no matter what, even if she is the killer or if she gave the card to Byakuya, she might be dead because the rule book clearly states that you are not allowed to give the another student your ID, so if that turns out to be the case, so if a guy did it, a girl gave them their ID or he was let in by the killer herself, by the victim i'm sorry at which point maybe nobody dies but if what i'm suspecting is true toko might be dead here no matter what i'm hoping that's not the case let's see oh yeah that's true which means she can't have killed this but that doesn't mean she's not guilty by being an accomplice uh, um.
Yeah. So, um. Mm -hmm. No, um, that that. Yes. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Of course. Obviously, the bear wouldn't actually consider this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the case file. It's the Monokuma file! See ya later! No way! Yes, we do. Why? Oh, help me! Yeah, this guy reacts the very same. I think the moment he starts to react differently to a murder is the moment I'm gonna start being suspicious of him. Hey! Such ignorance. <laughs> Naturally. Yeah. What? Such ignorance. Shit! Calm down. Because... Yeah. That's right. What? A maximum of two people, so that means that he can still kill one more time. <laughs> well, it's just added. And yeah, that's true. At the very least, here. You don't want to be boring by having just one murderer kill everybody. So then. Yeah, true. That means you would have to have three a serial killer is if he kills three people. Punishment is waiting for you. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Interesting. 
You son of a bitch. So you need to calm the funk down. A thing to be done. Is that okay? You're still acting like your normal self. I'm suspicious of a girl this time. I'm very sus- I'm more suspicious of a girl in this circumstance than of a guy. It makes sense. It would be easier. It would actually be a conspiracy theory for a guy to have gotten somehow someone to let them in. Okay. So unless I find clear evidence that this was a guy... The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. Okay, so she was killed instantly and then strung up to make it look. That's what I was thinking. So I'm still on the bandwagon of the theory that this is just a copycat. It's not the actual killer. But the fact of the matter is that the bear just allowed this killer to kill one more time. Which means one less person against them on the trial. So that is a danger. That's all it says. So it, it, she, it, she was killed with that thing. Yeah, let's. Naturally. <laughs> what? Purchasing your time, same time, which allowed it to suck it. Okay, thank you. This makes me a little bit more certain that it's not you. Because at the end of the day, you would not want to cooperate with me. Stop talking. And you have the honor of contributing to my investor, so you're inviting me to come with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, Let's though. Need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. Yes, but we also need her help. I mean, you need to remember that she was also helpful. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Blow to the head with a blunt object. Exactly, it's this one. Yes, and unfortunately we can't check her fingerprints, so there seems to be something there. Hold on. Mm hmm. Very strange. What? Yes. I wonder about okay. that. And then she, she probed and popped going over every inch of the life of body. You're a string you know, with me. It's such a dead body with absolutely no trouble. I'm surprised that you have trouble with her being that way. Now it's become the site that you are there. But do you know something? Hmm. No, no, no. No, she was killed here. The, the blood spatter clearly indicates that. Well. She came here on her own. By choice. Hmm. Yes, about wanting to get stronger. Two in the morning. So she would have had to come here with someone she trusted. That makes me suspicious of you, darling. You would be someone who can lift her to that position. Because not many girls would be able to lift her up. was probably avoiding it then. 
She invited her to join us more than once. She never showed up, so I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. Yes, which is why I so. Which is why I am thinking it's one of the girls. Because it happened in the locker room, right? You need that support from others, yes. Yeah, she wouldn't have come here in secret uh, by herself. But then she also would have come with someone else, yes. Now you liked her. I need to get stronger. Which I guess explains the trip down here, but did she really need to get stronger that badly? I already mentioned it, but she was a girl after most girls aren't all that stronger than all man. Haven't really thought about that stuff. Okay, so she girlfriend, I can't help wondering who it might be. What? Yeah, we need to talk. Let's go. Um... Hmm, Twitch is related. Yes, of course. This does feel like the next place we should look because it was basically the place she... This one. So we need to have this. Trying to work with our uh, hand box. Yes, yes. What? No, the idea. You call for me? Yeah. That's right. You need something? Yep. Yes, leave that thing alone. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. Yes. Okay. So it has to be a girl. Okay, so if this is true, if this is 100%, there's no loophole. She did it. She, she couldn't have somehow given her badge to somebody to enter with her. She couldn't have let someone in with her. Then that means the other person, the killer, is 100% a girl. Yeah. I don't need to tell you what you're thinking. So she was found in the girls' locker room. The killer must have been able so to get in there. Words. So the killer must be one of the girls. Such yeah. Ignorance. You should pay close attention to the regulation. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning you to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibiting. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. Borrowing, what does that mean? So if the person is not aware that they gave the badge, it's not called loaning, it's called someone else borrowing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was thinking about that, but... Hmm. It did it on purpose, then to try a little more excitement yeah! to things. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore, they're yep. things, got it. Oh god, somebody took her, her badge. So the loophole would be that she was killed somewhere else, and then the bloody thing was dropped on purpose. We have to go into the boys' locker room and see if there's something missing there then. 
that means someone would have to lose it so i'm so sleepy just listening to me makes me want to pass off on my head i'm change you into a criminal negligence okay i figured it out so i'll fit you in myself let's head to the main hall the main hall yeah i knew i needed the card reader uh, thing but i, I would have gone to the okay it's, we came to the main hall what do you want the back to figure it out myself of course we do what is this box and you have Oh my are you kidding me? Hmm. I've been uh, clicking on that for a couple of episodes now. <laughs> Where well, the handbook of dead students get delivered to this mailbox and they already had two girl handbooks so it literally could be anybody because we had Sayako and the other girl's handbooks. Okay. Back to square one. Leon, yeah, Junko, Leon, and Sayako. Okay, yeah, obviously. Oh, can we read something? Okay. But my man, we need to know who else knew about this because you are very suspicious right now. You're the only one who knew about this from what I am seeing. Yeah, okay, so the killer can literally be anybody. No, no, that means the killer is a guy. A girl would not leave any evidence if she had... So he, here's my problem with it being a girl now. A girl would not need to do this. Because the door doesn't have a record somewhere. Or at the very least, us, the students, are not um, privy to the girl. To any kind of records of who used their handbooks to get in. Which means that a guy was trying to frame a girl. That means that the killer is a guy. Because otherwise you would not need this handbook. Because the the, you would have no way as a girl to... You would have no, no reason to borrow a handbook as a girl. Unless you were doing the opposite and trying to kill a guy in the guy's locker room. What? Very strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Junkos. Leons. I see. Yeah, so he was killed, okay. So the black and tan box. Ah, oh, because he had it on him. What is it? That's impossible. It wouldn't break. It wouldn't freaking break. So that means. Yeah, that's right. He said that. What? I can't hear you. What? Hmm. Hard to say, you know what? I think I think his handbook isn't actually broken, but you might ask how could that be? I think it's because he was a black and that was caught. That's 
fine. Yeah, for now it doesn't matter and for the next case, if we see that the next blackened uh, handbook also doesn't work, then... able to find some more clues during the actual trial about this. No. Hmm. Wow, what happened? Is there anything else I can investigate now? Wow. By the way, I'll to be exactly not quite certainly, I want to reach your skill, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. No. You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed you here? Absolutely, I have no doubt. Why? The murderous fiend is Genocide what? Jack, right? There's nobody else it could be. There's only who kills them again and again and using bizarre and brutal methods. They're like a ghost, but budgeting someone's head in is not exactly a bizarre method. Like, that's probably the primary way of killing somebody. Like a ghost, seconds are needed, slipping away before the pace can catch up to them. And what nickname did the uh, internet give to this mysterious character? Genocide Jack. They said, I, w I want to know where they got the Jack part. Like, that's interesting. Like, genocide, okay, but Jack? Why Jack? Like, does everybody hate the Jacks? They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend still. Could one of us really be a demented psychopath? Like, or like that. If they were, they would be very good at blending in because they haven't been caught yet. <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder, but words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it and I can show you. Okay. I have to only linking it against the rules. In other words, there's no problem with borrowing one. One other thing that bothers me is the fact that the answer won't turn on. Yeah, so technically speaking, they could only use the girl's badge. And if you think logically, only a guy would need a girl's badge. Don't tell me, but it won't turn on that much is certain. Is it really unrelated to the case? I do read something about it still bothers me. Yes, I agree, but what else can we investigate here? Do I have to talk to him again? Because I don't know what else can I investigate. I've already investigated everything, so let's talk. What do you mean by, by uh, to be exact now? Why, certainly I want to reach you even more precisely. I want to discover the charge and... So the killer is absolutely I have no... And I have a basis to believe that. I assume you... I assure you Jonas is one of us. Okay. Tell me, is there really proof? Somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. Okay, let's go and see. Is the one that killed you here. So I am a little bit iffy on you being this forthcoming with evidence. Considering the fact that I know now for a fact that the killer is a guy. If you're taking me to Toko, I'm honestly gonna believe that you're trying to pin it on her. Evidence does something like that. Ah, hey you two. Need your help. We're bu busy. It's an emergency, you gotta help me. Let's go with her right now. Please, please, please you gotta help me. It's an emergency. What is the emergency? She's acting super strange. Should we do? Since it's so cool, I must I'm intrigued. Feels we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Yeah, let's go. Run, guys, Let's run! Go. Run! What? I need to talk to her? Mm -hmm. yeah, so, what's this emergency? Well, after what happened, the girl's locker room, we left talk on her so she could laugh. We came back to check on her, you know. See how she was doing, but when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. That's fine. She should try talk. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yes, you should try talking to her. Come on. Hmm. 
Well, for F's sake, she likes you. Go and talk to her. Hey, girl. Holy. Uh, from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you, pulling yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? Won't allow it. Oh my god, is she being kept? <laughs> won't let Genocide Jack have control. Oh no, she has the personality, doesn't she? Goodness. Uh. But yeah, there is you. That's fine. <laughs> oh god oh god oh god i won't let just i have control over again yeah she has multiple personality disorder um What was don't go talking just now, you little shit? Something what? about a promise? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. Stop I don't know. That means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Why? So she can get killed? Let's oh go. my god. Ah, uh, if Hina's dead, I will have you both killed. Now a certain room. He stopped in front of a certain room. The library. Let's go in. I have some words for you. Do I have to check you? Let's go. Well. Uh. So, in other words... There's something behind me. That's enough. They, they need to all the people who control the world from behind the scenes dangerous truth for a co commoner members of the diet or something no i mean the ones with real power the secret council controlling everything from the shadows if you're ready to be disappointed for it take a look there are some very interesting people in there hmm. so i'm gonna have to take a look eventually Was kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? Mm. 
Hmm. Extension cord plugged in there. It will be very useful. Okay. Graphic disturbing photos from all kinds of currency. Investigative reports to different cold cases. So it should have Jack's blood though. Those are internal documents besides only. Finally we need to understand the true splendor of this library. The entire reason I was interested in the library is because this room is right hmm. here. Interesting. It's home to classified government documents, police workers, say things I'll do for someone will ever even see. This is magnificent. This can't be for you, right? Ignorance. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality was a lie. The problem with you, my man, is that you need to cooperate with other people, okay? You might be... No, you're actually not smart. It's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone help put all this together? Help speak truly wield it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Normal, ordinary, simple, those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. Actually, they do, but... So. so, in other words, <laughs> so your family is a member, of course. <laughs> so you have extra reasons to become a killer because you're literally going out into the world and just gonna rule it eventually. The real thing. this section of the library is not actually not accessible to everybody so a lot of people heard about your babbling of genocide jack so they could have come here stumbled upon the case file been really desperate and gotten decided to copy him because basically what his crime scene is pretty simple to replicate
Again, the case file is here. That's right. So, in other words, you are just jumping to conclusions, but let's just assume for the sake of this game that you are right because you have to be. In other words, Interesting. Such ignorance. So I guess I have to talk to That's fine. Yeah, okay, so there is not just, it's not just. So there's these scissors that they are using. They use them on two separate crime scenes. And they are all men. Blah blah. Yes, my mom, but they are all men. This was a girl. And I'm seeing scissors everywhere. Okay, so this person is basically very busy during the week. Or a person who is employed, unless you are arguing that the Japanese don't ever have a day off. But sure, we will go with that because it's obviously the answer. Yeah, figured. Okay, so it is talking. So, in other words, it's very hard to deduce that in any way, shape, or form from a crime scene. Come on. Let's go.
unfortunate. Hey, you. away from all the girls okay to the boys all the time no Planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> yes, indeed. Oh, hey you. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Why did you say that? Hey you. I feel as if. <laughs> Sure of it. Okay, so he is gonna have he's gonna have some evidence during the courtroom case. Wait. Wait. Oh they changed the law. I found it weird that the girl was Yeah. So maybe the card that isn't working was used. Yeah, so the the fact that this thing is here. Mm. Yeah. Which means that she was actually killed in the boys' locker room. Mm-hmm. 
indeed. However, well, so then, and book. Goodbye. So Chido's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to pop her up in a kind of crucifix position. Okay, but there are no scissors. Hmm. The rope has a plug. Wait, so then this isn't a rope. Yeah, it's a... The more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's fatal injury was the blow to the head. Yes, which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right. That's the issue of her being suspended of it. Fatal blow. The first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. Yes, but seeing them again after looking through just something's not quite right. Yes, I mean, look at the crime scenes, they're completely different. Let's not even talk about the fact that this person is clearly targeting men, not women. Chihiro doesn't fit her stereotype. He's... The state of the dead body was added to the true bullet section of your handbook. Well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Chihiro. Figure that one out, there's a certain place I need to review and look over again, plus it might help to look at the Genocide Jack case file one more time, yes! Yes, but I wanted to understand that these were actually switched as well. Can we please get you to understand that as well? Of course. Uh, could have been switched. However, there's something that's been bothering about the locker rooms. You see, I. I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish a recycling. We have protein coffee in the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercise anyway. Yeah, I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. Okay. But I don't see any stain on the carpet now, exactly. I noticed it earlier, the stain has disappeared. Okay, so now we can investigate the boys' locker room and see the stain. Came along and cleaned it up, but still, isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain here to begin with. Yes, because the carpets were switched, so she was killed in the boys' locker room and hung in the girls' locker room. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any other place. Yeah. Oh goodness, okay, we found all of the clues. I'm gonna end it here. The trial is gonna be next up, so thank you for watching. Have a nice day.